Greetings to all of my friends in the Diocese of Texas. As my, as my pleasure to serve as your Bishop Suffragan for the East Region. In the year 2020, we went back to basics. After news of the pandemic had begun to happen in March, I went back to basics with our clergy and congregation, having frequent Zoom calls as we looked at reopening plans for worship. During this time, I was able to have significant conversations with our clergy and lay leaders about such things as worship and theology and pastoral care. Pastoral care also went back to basics in this year, as we discovered even in the midst of the wonders of technology, that sometimes the best pastoral care with one another can happen just by picking up the telephone for a phone call or a brief handwritten note to someone. We have a wonderful team of chaplains to our hundreds of retired clergy and spouses, and they stepped it up too, providing excellent care to our retired clergy and spouses. The Small Church Network is for lay and clergy leaders in congregations with an average Sunday attendance of 50 or less. And during this year of 2020, we had an in-person gathering in March, early March, before the pandemic began, where we learned about Christian education and formation in the small church context. And we learned in that gathering that the future was going to be virtual. And boy, did we ever learn that lesson. In September, we also had a gathering, this time completely online, about how to impact our communities in a virtual and online way. The Episcopal Seniors Foundation also went back to some of the partners that we had given previous grants to, as well as giving a grant to the Methodist retirement communities, who is a corollary to some of our Episcopal ministries, an ecumenical endeavor. I work with the World Mission Board in this diocese, with co which coordinates our companion diocese relationships with the diocese of North Dakota, Costa Rica, and Southern Malawi. Luckily in January, we were able to welcome Bishop Alanafe from Southern Malawi to our diocese as he went around to see uh, people in Austin, then to Waco, and then finishing up in our home here in Tyler. Also in the World Mission Board, we were able to give significant grants to those who are hurting in our companion diocese and as those around the world as everyone has been adjusting to the realities of COVID-19. At Bishop Doyle's request, I serve as the chair of our liturgical commission, which is made up of lay and clergy leaders through the diocese, including music professionals. We were especially uh, charged this year as a liturgical commission to give guidance on music and liturgical practices, especially as Holy Eucharist as a weekly occurrence was not able to, to happen. We had prepared some trial liturgies for things like uh, the installation of a new rector and some more inclusive language liturgies that were ready to go in March but those have been put on hold and we'll be, we'll be experiencing those things in the year ahead. Also at Bishop Doyle's request, um, any uh, clergy who would like to have some feedback on, on new practices regarding liturgy in this time of COVID uh, have been running them by me for their feedback. During this time of COVID, we've been able to have liturgically significant conversations about what the Eucharist and other worship opportunities mean in our community life. On a wider church level, what some might call the National Church, I serve on Program Budget and Finance Committee, which puts together the budget for the whole Episcopal Church. Given that General Convention has been delayed a year, this has caused some additional challenges, yet I was honored to be elected by that committee to serve as Vice Chair as we head into the next general convention and the next budget cycle. I completed my terms of three years on the boards of the Episcopal Peace Fellowship and the Gathering of Leaders, and I, look, I was grateful for those opportunities to serve. I'm also grateful that I work on a wonderful team of bishops 
with Bishop Doyle, Bishop Ryan, Bishop Monteroso, and our whole executive team, which has been so creative and resilient during this year. And speaking of resilience and creativity, I, I'm, I would like to give a shout out to Trinity Episcopal Church in the Woodlands, which is in the San Jacinto Convocation, also in the East region. One day, and looking through my Facebook news feed, I saw that Mickey Baylog, the director of music there, had put together her handbill choir, but on Zoom. And it, it just brought almost tears to my eyes to hear this wonderful music has never been so used to doing handbills in person, adapting that onto an online platform, which could bring beautiful music and worship together. This has been a year that we went back to basics. And Jesus tells us that we are to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the second commandment is like unto it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. That's the basics. Thank you.